how to migrate a website. That's what we're talking about in this video. What's up everybody? My name is David, WebsiteCreativePro.com. So how do you move a website from a .net, .org, .co over to a .com? That's what I wanna share with you in this tutorial video. That whole process is called site migration and it's a good thing to know how to do because it's a way that allows you to move your website from one web host to another painlessly and it also allows you to move your web, basically website to a new domain name if you choose to. Now, I highly recommend that you pay someone to do this for you if you have a large website where you have a lot of number one rankings and you're making money uh, because larger websites, this just becomes a more complicated process and you wanna be very, very careful because you have search engine rankings, you're making money, you're getting traffic and you don't wanna basically nuke your SEO by making some backend mistake. But so this process is good if you have a smaller website and, and say you just don't have that much traffic and you just wanna know like, hey, I finally secured the .com that I wanted to and now I wanna move my website over. How do I do that? So in this tutorial video, I wanna walk you through step one to step done on how that process works now, I know there are other tutorial videos on this, but in my opinion, they're all missing the last critical steps, which is basically the 301 redirect that you need to do, as well as updating the Google Search Engine Console through the change of address feature in Google Search Engine Console. Uh, those are two critical aspects that you need to do at the end. But anyways, let me show you how to basically move your content over quickly and easily. So if you're ready, let's begin. Welcome to my laptop, let's begin. So the process of moving a website from one domain to another domain is called migration. It's the same process as moving from one web host to another web host. And there are two free plugins that you can use. The first one is called Duplicator. The second one is All-in-One WP Migration. Duplicator has 1 million active installations. All-in-One has 2 million. So in this tour, we're going to be using All-in-One WP Migration because it's the most popular plugin, uh, popular plug migration plugin on the market right now. And so to begin the migration process is basically you wanna to go to the website that you're going to be moving. So I created this little test site uh, and I'm going to be moving this site over to this domain name. And so the step one is you wanna go into your plugins and then you wanna to go to add new. And then what you wanna do is you wanna search for all in one WP migration. So all in one. WP migration. Now click on install now and then activate the plugin. Okay, so once you've activated the plugin, you'll notice that all in one WP migration is now a menu option in your WordPress admin. We want to export this website. So we'll just go to export. And now we have different couple different options. We can export it as FTP, Dropbox, Google Drive. We're going to export this as a file because then we can save it to our desktop and then we're going to upload it to the website uh, where we're going to be moving all the files to. So go ahead and click on file. Okay, so now it's compiling everything and making a nice little downloadable package. Okay, so now the website is ready to download. So we just navigate and we click on the green button. Okay, so now it's currently downloading. All right, so it just finished downloading. So we can drag and drop this to our desktop and now we have a nice backup of our website. Now that is how you download all the blog posts, pages, database, all that information from your website. Now the next step is to go to the website where you want to import everything. So I'm going to be importing on this domain name, davidyuki.com. Uh, so the import process is very simple. You wanna go ahead and install the all-in-one WP migration plugin. And then once you do that, you want to then navigate over to import because we're going to be importing uh, the website. Now, anything you drag and drop here will overwrite whatever design you have already up here. So what I would recommend is that when you're moving the site, have download and download all your data from your current website, go into your hosting account, create your new website, create the new domain name where you wanna move everything to and then upload your website. Now, 
you have to be careful because a lot of web hosts have different maximum upload limits in, in times. Uh, so, you know, I went into this, this website is currently hosted on hostinger.com and hostinger. I had to go into the file manager. I'll just show you quickly. So I had to navigate over to the file manager. Let me just open this up. There we go and go to file manager. And then I had to navigate to my uh, HT access file and then change it so I could upload uh, larger files. So you wanna click on your HT access file and then you wanna click on open. Depends on the web host, but every web host is different. So I just went in here and I changed this to uh, max file size 500 megabytes so that's why it says 500 megabytes by default it'll say 128 anyways if you have a problem uploading your website you're going to need to contact your web host and ask them to uh, increase the uh, file size that you're able to upload so i'm just mentioning that just in case you have an issue with that because this you know we, it, it this is this is the best thing to do for smaller websites anyways let's go ahead and drag and drop our new file in and now the import process is taking place all right your site has been imported successfully so if you reach this page and then you click on set permalink structure you're going to be a little bit confused because now it's asking you to sign back into your website and you're like well i was already signed in to davidyuki.com what is why do i have to sign in again remember that you just moved your site over so now you have to use the login credentials for the old website on the new domain name okay because you just moved over everything you moved over blog posts the databases everything so go ahead and log in okay and now you want to go ahead and just click on the blue save changes to save your permalink structure and now this was the old design and if we just open up the website again We'll take a quick look and it's a completely new design. It's basically, I basically moved the website. I moved this website from Zen2D over to mydavidyuki.com quickly and easily. And the cool thing about this migration process is it, it updates everything. It updates all the links, updates internal linking. Everything is taken care of. You know, the, the category structures, tags, internal links, everything is good to go and that is basically the whole process for migrating a website again this way is ideal if you have a small website if you have a larger website you may need to request that your web host move your content over for you but again this is how it's done with the all-in-one wp migration plugin all right so we just moved our website over we moved our blog posts pages design images database everything is good to go now that is only step one the second step is to set up a 301 redirect at your old domain to point to your new domain now what a 301 redirect is is basically when anyone tries to access the old website they'll be redirected to the new website uh, quickly, easily, and this is important because it helps maintain your search engine rankings. Uh, because like if someone tries to visit like website.org slash blog slash blog post, they'll be automatically redirected to website.com slash blog slash blog post without you having to do anything. Uh, that's why you wanna do a 301 redirect because that tells Google that, hey, this page no longer exists here, it exists here, so re-index this page as this page. And that helps maintain your search engine rankings when you're changing domains. And then the second step, the next very critical step is to jump into Google Search Engine Console. And what you wanna do with Google Search Engine Console is you wanna do a change of address. So you need to verify your old domain name. And so if you've done that, great. Then the next step is to add your new domain name to your Google Search Engine Console and then verify that. And then what you do is you go into your settings and then you tell the Google Search Engine Console that, hey, this old domain is now going to exist at this new domain. Now, the, this whole process, basically what you're doing is with the 301 redirect, that is a page level uh, redirect. That's telling search engines that, hey, this blog post, this page no longer exists here, it exists here. But the change of address in Google Search Engine Console is you're basically telling Google, hey, this entire website doesn't exist here anymore and it's never gonna exist here anymore. It's going to exist here from now on. And you wanna do both because doing both allows you to maintain your search engine rankings as best as possible. Now, this migration of a website from a different to one domain name to another domain name is a very pain, painful aspect and you probably are going to lose a bit of search engine rankings. My experience has been 
basically you're going to lose like five to 10% of your rankings right off the bat for maybe the first like couple weeks. And then usually it'll come back if you do everything correctly. Uh, but anyways, like this is just why you want to be very careful with your domain name. You want to make sure you get the domain name that you want right off the bat. So you don't have to go through this process. But anyways, these last two steps are critical. So to do the 301 redirect, you just want to contact your web host, honestly, uh, because you don't want to be going into your HD access file yourself and editing things. Just contact your web host and tell them, Hey, I want to set up a 301 redirect from this domain name to this domain name. How do I do that? So either they'll set it up for you and they'll do it for you, or they'll send you to a guide where you can follow along and figure it out. Now for Google search engine console, I'm going to show you that right now. So let's begin. All right. We are almost done. Now the last two little things that we need to do is set up a permanent 301 redirect from our old website to our new website. And then we want to update our domain name in search engine console. So this section, I definitely recommend you contact your web host and ask them for help with setting up a 301 redirect from your old domain name to your new domain name. Basically, you're going to be installing some type of code like this, where it's a rewrite engine on, where you're going to be redirecting from, uh, it says old domain name, but you wanna put in obviously your old domain name, then you wanna put in your new domain name. And this goes in your HT access file right at the footer. And what that does is that uh, when anyone finds your old blog posts in search engines, for you know, if you're ranking number two or three or whatever, then it gets redirected to your new website so you still can maintain your search engine rankings and you still get traffic it's not like you're just nuking your seo and starting over from scratch so it's really important once you move your website go and set up this 301 redirect and it permanently directs people to the new blog post the new pages on the site and it over time you know gives google a little bit of time it'll start re-indexing your website as appropriate but the speed helps speed up the process. You definitely want to go into next Google search engine console. So as an example, this is edgeofdavid.com. If I was to move it to my other domain name, davidyuki.com, for example, what I'd want to do is edge of David's already in Google search engine console and verify that I'm the owner. Go ahead and add in your new domain name and then verify ownership. And then for the new domain name, go in, install the Yoast SEO plugin, and then make sure you enter in your sitemap. And then you have, so you have your sitemap added for your new website. And then last step is to go to settings. And then you want to navigate to where it says change of address. And then this is where you can tell Google that, hey, this website is moving permanently from this to this. So, hey, I'm permanently moving from, you know, website.net to website.com. That's, this is where you'd want to do that. And then you can validate and update. And then it, Google will tell you that to, you know, basically uh, leave it for 180 days, which is basically six months, which is basically the amount of time that you want to give any type of like redirection or uh, this Google change of address. You want to give it at least six months for Google to properly uh, re-index your website under the new domain name uh, so you don't lose your rankings or search engine traffic. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial video. My name is David, WebsiteCreativePro.com. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Hit that like button because it really helps videos get more attention from the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.